There's been a lot of controversy behind the 4K screen on the Xperia Z5 Premium. Some people stood behind Sony's decision, some others did not. But that is, I think, mostly because of the fact that we do not fully comprehend how 4K behaves on the Xperia Z5 Premium. I'm Anton Dinag, this is Pocket Now, and in this video we're gonna try to explain what 4K is and what 4K isn't on the Sony Xperia Z5 Premium. Let's dive into it. First of all, props to Sony for doing this. Props to Sony for managing to manufacture a 4K display in a 5.5 inch form factor and slapping that onto a smartphone. And uh, the same way props go to HTC and Oppo for uh, the Jade Butterfly and the Find 5, which were at their respective times the first 1080p smartphones, and to LG and Vivo for the first Quad HD smartphones with the G3 and the X-Play 3S. So yes, Sony managed to have the world's first 4K smartphone with this Xperia Z5 Premium. 3840 by 2160, that's what the 4K display on the Xperia Z5 Premium is. That results on a 5.5 inch screen in a PPI resolution of 806. Now we could go into debates whether that's something you will actually see or, or discern and the good old Steve Jobs quote comes to mind when he took the stage, I believe it was for the iPhone 4 presentation, when he talked about the Retina display. And uh, the Retina display according to Jobs was beyond 300 ppi, something which the human eye could not discern. Well, of course, that was a marketing trick because that is not true. Recent studies have shown that depending on your eyesight, on the quality of your eyes, visual acuity and vision in general, the human eye could discern up to seven or even 800 ppi. Everything is clear up to this point. This is where things are becoming a little bit more complicated. Sony has a blog post explaining how 4K works and some of the decisions behind 4K and its implementation on the Z5 Premium. I'll link it in the description below. What Sony does with this panel is that they constantly run it at full HD with a couple of exceptions. Sony says that this is mostly a decision oriented towards better battery life and so far the battery life on the Z5 Premium has turned out to be exceptional up to two days which is the norm with most recent Z smartphones, Z2, Z3, Z3 Plus. So that is something they are putting out there. But there's another aspect, Android Lollipop 5.1, which is running on the Z5 Premium, does not support 4K resolution. It does, however, support Quad HD resolution, and we're gonna get to this in a moment, but as of now, it's easier for Sony to just lower the resolution, basically cut it in half, because Full HD is half of 4K, and run it constantly in this mode. Even so, on a 5.5 inch display, Full HD results in 400 ppi, which is a great pixel per inch density. 4K kicks in in this particular scenario and on this phone, and we're not talking about future, future use it scenarios with VR and everything, because I've been reading your comments, and yes, some of you make a lot of sense. We're talking about this phone in particular. 4K will kick in once you start, for instance, the album application and play back a 4K video. Now, there are two ways you can get 4K video onto this smartphone. Number one is to either shoot your own video with the camera on the smartphone, which is capable of recording 4K video, and the other one is to sideload 4K videos from your library or from uh, your computer uh, onto the smartphone itself through the SD card internal storage and a small 4K overlay will pop up on the thumbnail and that's when 4K video is played back in its native resolution. Now most of the streaming applications which support 4K resolution are not optimized for mobile. And this is where I will return to my Quad HD reference because we have the S6 or the V10, which we'll use in this particular example, which are phones running in their native resolution, Quad HD on Android, Lollipop, same as the Z5 Premium. So what Sony does is, let's take an example. We fired up YouTube on both the Z5 Premium and the LG V10. 
we search for a 4K video and try to play it back. Of course, you can change the resolution of the stream by clicking on the cog and selecting the resolution. In the Z5 Premiums example, we were limited, so the highest resolution we could choose was 1080p. That's because the YouTube application sees the Z5 Premium as a 1080p phone, rightfully because it runs in 1080p. Opposed to the V10, where the highest resolution you could use was 1440 because the V10 and the S6 and other Quad HD phones run natively in this resolution. So playing them side by side full screen is pretty interesting. Sony explains it that for these scenarios where there is 4K content and um, it's not optimized for mobile, they're using an upscaling algorithm. So what basically is happening on the Z5 Premium is that Sony is taking the 1080p video and it's upscaling it Basically, it's pixel doubling. Again, Full HD is half of 4K. They are upscaling the video to 4K, opposed to what's happening on the V10 or on the S6, where you see that Quad HD video in its native resolution. Now, of course, I have not seen the difference. You might be able to see it. What we have is a smaller resolution on a Quad HD display running natively, and we have a higher resolution resulting in a upscaling or doubling of a lower resolution video source. So that's interesting. Maybe some of you can see it, some of you cannot, but this is what 4K is when it comes to streaming media from YouTube or Netflix or any other source which is not yet optimized for mobile. Now, when it comes to what the 4K display on the Z5 Premium is not, well, that's easy. It's not a 4K smartphone running in 4K constantly, so it's not a 4K smartphone per se. The best example coming to mind is when you buy a sports car, advertised to have 500 horsepower, but limited to only 250 horsepower because of fuel consumption reasons. Of course, you are able to access the rest of 250 horsepower by pushing a button for a short period of time, but 99% of the time, your 500 horsepower sports car will only run at 250. So that's probably the best example I could come up with, and I can understand the reasons behind battery life. Uh, this would make less sense if you would actually see the difference between Full HD and 4K on this particular phone. And don't get me wrong, probably some of you might be able to see it. I am personally not. So there you have it. We talked about what 4K is and what 4K isn't. Now, we very much wanted to make that clear and to put it out there because we want you to make an educated decision when going out and either deciding to buy or to pass on the Xperia Z5 Premium, especially with the holiday season coming. So if you think you will benefit from this 4K implementation of Sony and you want an exceptional smartphone, at a higher price tag, then absolutely go ahead and purchase this. And this will serve probably as a short teaser on what our full review conclusion will be. On the other hand, if you think that the technology is in its infancy, its um, implementation is still not there, there are other options, both Sony options, because the Z5 Premium has the exact same internals as the Z5 and the Z3 Plus before it, aka Z4, give or take one or two specs, so you can get another Z smartphone from Sony if waterproofing or great build quality are your thing, or you can opt for other flagships. Well, that being said, we hope we managed to shed some light on this controversy and we hope we managed to make you understand better how Sony does 4K on the Z5 Premium and what really is and isn't as the title suggests. If you've liked this video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow Pocket Now on all social media channels. I've been Anton Dina. You can also follow me in the links above. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. That's it for now. Till next time, everybody take care.